Here we have a geometry question where most of us are going to need to re go back to that reference chart that's included in the test and make sure that we understand the rules for uh, right triangles, specifically the 45-45 right triangle. That's what they're telling us we have here. Uh, they're not coming out and saying it, but it's a right triangle um, and it has a uh, two sides are the same, an isosceles right triangle that can only happen when we have this 45-45. So what this reference chart is telling us is that the sides of triangles like this are always in the same proportion. And they're telling us the hypotenuse is 58. So we can go in here and we can just say, okay, S radical 2 is equal to 58. So that means, that seems a little messy, right? So that radical 2, like what happens to that? Well, it's multiplied in and we can find the value of s by dividing it out. So if we just divide both sides of this thing by radical 2, we will get that the other side, these sides, are equal to 58 over radical 2, which is a messy number, but not a big deal. What they're asking us for is the perimeter of this triangle. So perimeter is just add up all the sides. So what do we have? Well, we have two s sides and the 58 root 2 side. So uh, I'm going to squeeze this in here. So we have 58 plus 58 root 2 plus 58, or sorry, over root 2. Um, that's my perimeter, P. Now, honestly, the best thing here is just let the calculator do the work. So you can enter this in the calculator. I'm going to get you your decimal, 58 plus 58 divided by the square root of 2, got to be a little careful with parentheses here, plus 58 divided by the square root of 2 is, uh, let's put it here I guess, 140.024. Now one of these is going to equal 140.024, so 29 root 2, root 2, is 41 and some change, so that's not right. 58 root 2 is 82 and some change, so that's not right. 58 plus 58 square root 2 is 140.0243, etc. So that's going to be it. I can already just tell because this number is bigger that C is the only one that's going to work, and that is the answer. If you wanted to do this more um, kind of like, I don't know, math textbooky, like your math teacher would want you to do it, we would need to do something called rationalize the denominators. Basically, 58 over root 2 is not a good number. We don't like having radicals in denominators of fractions. So coming back over here, the way to do it is we use the properties of fractions to kind of just make something look a little different without changing its value. So if we multiply by the square root of 2 on both the top and the bottom, we're not changing the value of the number, right? Radical 2 over radical 2 is 1. So we're basically just multiplying this thing by 1, but we're doing it in a way that lets us change the bottom from this messy root 2 into now something nicer. 58 root 2 is on the top, and root 2 times root 2 is just plain old 2. And then, this is usually going to happen on these questions, we can reduce the 2 with the 58, and that means that that side s was also equivalent to 29 times the square root of 2. And sure enough, notice, what was choice A? 29 square root of 2. So that's kind of a trap, because they want you to find that, you need to find that to find the perimeter, but it doesn't actually matter for what they're asking, right? They want the perimeter. So that's just one piece of the puzzle. It is not the answer itself. But we could then find the whole thing by doing 58 plus, that's the hypotenuse, 2 times 29 root 2, which was our S. And then there you go. That's 58 plus 58 root 2. So that's how we would get it directly. Um, I like the calculator for stuff like this. I mean, yes, you should really know how to simplify radicals and rationalize denominators. Those are important skills and they're important for advanced algebra. And maybe an SAT question here or there will somehow require you to do it. But calculator doesn't care about decimals, doesn't care about radicals or fractions. It, it just treats all numbers equally. So you don't have to memorize all sorts of rules. You just need to make sure you put like parentheses in the right places and you're good. So don't let 
those little side projects in math get in the way of solving a question like this. You don't need it if you just know how to read a calculator's decimal numbers.